Hey, what's going on there, you bunch of weirdos? Galactic Criminal back with another reaction video. Uh, this time we got the third trailer for the new Star Trek Beyond. Now, if any of you seen the first trailer, got a whole lot of fucking hate. It was cut badly, the music what just didn't fit, didn't work at all. And, uh, and they heard. Oh, they were listening. So when the second trailer came out, it was ten times fucking better. I did a reaction to that one. Uh, it was... It was fantastic. I couldn't I couldn't have asked for a better trailer. Yeah, the second trailer really set the tone and uh, gave us a better idea of what this movie's gonna be like. So I don't really know if I'm going to expect too much more out of this trailer. It's just kind of like a final cut. So yeah, maybe they'll maybe they'll show us something new in this trailer that we haven't seen already. We will press play with the one, two, Oh, that's cool. My dad joined Starfleet because he believed in it. I joined on a dare. You joined to see if you could live up to him. He spent all his time trying to be your dad. And now you're wondering what it means to be you. Maybe like some in internal struggle with them in this one. Something we've never seen. Lack before. of confidence. I know. Has to like build this it back up by the end. But this is my last report as the captain of the Starship Enterprise. I'm bracing for the pain and I am letting He sacrifices another ship, huh? I love the, the practical effects that they're using in this. The creatures look awesome. I was kind of worried about that. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, man. So, yeah, I was, uh, was kind of feeling the trailer. Uh, you know, it, was, uh, it seemed to be cut pretty good, and uh, the music kind of confused me a little bit, but then I kind of remembered that when I'd seen the, the thumbnails for, for this before I picked uh, before I picked the video it said featuring featuring Rihanna I didn't know what to think of that I thought maybe it was just gonna be well you know what I honestly didn't know what it was gonna be but I guess yeah they featured one of the songs from her new album so they're tying in her new album with this movie and doing some kind of promotion deal I'm sure this deal was in the works leading up to, you know, the end of production for this movie. So, you know, I can't really fault them for coming through with, uh, with the deal they already made. I'm sure that's what it was anyway. Um, but at the same time, after seeing what happened with that first trailer and how the music didn't work, at least at least the song was from a, a decent fucking band. You're, you know, you're throwing Rihanna at the. <laughs> It just didn't make any sense. Like halfway through, I kind of, you know, became conscious of uh, of the music and just how it just did not fit at all. You know, like now it's even more confusing as to what the tone of this movie is going to be. You know, the second trailer really gave me a, a good feeling about it that I was really going to like it, and I, you know, what I think I'm still going to like it. It's just, you know, my faith is a little shaken after seeing this trailer with that music put on it. It just kind of, you know, pulled the hype back a little bit for me. That's kind of a shame. I thought they were really, like, riding a high note and left that whole first trailer in the dust, but I can already see the backlash that this thing's going to get. I have, I have a pretty strong feeling that that cut and that music clashing is going to get like a, a big backlash on the internet. That's just, that's just how it's going to be. Anyway, yeah, that was a pretty decent trailer. I'll leave a link in the description so you can check it out. Full screen, full audio, uh, you know, figure out for yourself what they were thinking. 
And as always, have yourself a fantastic evening.